hi guys welcome to my channel my name is betsy Odi of Webu. still on my how to pass acca series um i took the acca professional level papers last year september 2020 and in december 2020 and by you know by december i was actually done with all four papers so i'm sharing my experience around the four papers that i took i already did a video about how to pass acca's sbr if you haven't watched it please go ahead to watch it and this uh, video specifically is gonna be on how to pass acca's a A A. <laughs> yeah advanced audit and assurance paper i took that paper and i want to share how i passed it so please if this is interesting to you then please continue watching hit the like button hit subscribe and let's go into the video okay guys yeah so you're here because you want to know how to pass A A A, right i'm not gonna make this a long video just because i know you're watching this and you're probably preparing for an exam right so i don't want to waste your time i'm just gonna tell you about what the paper i think tests and then what are the key things that i did that i think you can do um from my own personal experience i think you know if you do them uh you should be fine to pass the AAA paper now note that i say pass because i wasn't studying to be like a champion or like win a prize i studied for my cca papers under a very tight time constraint because i needed them to be able to get the cpa in canada so yeah so i didn't have the luxury of time for like you know trying to aim for like a hundred score or something so i did pass aaa and i think i passed it with like a 60 or something right so yeah so that's what it was for me but please um you know stick by and learn how i did that so what i think helped me pass accs aaa was because at the time when i took that paper i actually was working at an audit firm in canada and audit experience has always been my experience since even from nigeria so you could say i'm an auditor so yeah it might just be easier for me to have passed because i still remember a lot of you know from what i do daily right so yeah, that means you should ordinarily not fail it but does that mean there are no auditors that have failed aaa of course there are so which means the exam actually has its own exam technique that everyone needs to master even if you're an auditor even if you're an audit partner in a firm you would likely fail acca's exam if you do not know the exam technique it's not about what you know about what is being tested it's how the examiner wants you to convey your thoughts into a way and a manner that they would enjoy so that they can mark it and give you your 50 marks <laughs> yeah so that's it so what then is the exam exam technique for aaa so the first thing i did to understand aaa was I used open tuitions, lecture notes, and videos. Open tuition lecture notes were quite summarized. I knew that if I had to study like the Kaplan or the BPP, which are fantastic materials, if you have the luxury of time to actually, you know, study them, they will be your best bet. But if you're a time constraint like I was, I had to study something that was summarized because again, like I said, I already had accounting background. I had an audit background, so I wasn't new to all of the auditing, right? Yeah, so I needed something that would just, you know, kind of remind me like a kind of refresher course and help me to easily pass the paper. So what I did personally was to use open tuitions lecture notes and um, videos right i watched them all of them they were about i don't know 33 of them or so so i just went on to watch all of them and i always have a note so this is something that i always do for any paper i'm taking i have some kind of jotter where i jot down every topic in concise you know just words just things that are like the pointer that i could use in an exam hall and i will remember all of it right yeah so have your note somewhere where you just jot down from every lecture and every video just what are the key points you remember per that topic if the topic was on audit risk for example what do you remember about that entire topic business risks the different audit risks um, which ones are within the auditor's control and which one is not and then and then how can the auditor mitigate those risks that are within their control yeah so some of all those kind of stuff right you want to just jot them down so that's what i did that's the first thing i did after i had watched the open tuition videos and you know used their study notes to make those summary notes the next thing i did was to watch practice to pass videos by acca pakistan so acca pakistan organizes some kind of virtual classroom um you know tutorial which they do typically close to the exam and i think it's a three-day series they do it for about three hours each if i'm not mistaken or so so yeah so in those hours they're gonna spend time you know just attempting a question and then just telling you like the key techniques to use when you're you know studying for your you know your exams and all of that they come in very handy i particularly enjoyed aaa with kashif kamran 
Kashif Kamran is the lecturer that took the papers that I, the AAA that I used at that time. I don't know if the lecturer has changed now. Please go online to research ACCA Pakistan practice to pass. AAA for the diets that you are taking so you can easily join them if they haven't already done it or you can watch the one of the previous diet anyone you watch will be fine because the techniques are largely the same they haven't really changed in recent time so I think you'll be fine to watch any of those videos it was very helpful Mr. Kashif would take his time to explain how to tackle each of these questions and that was like super helpful to me passing AAA some of what I remember from you know what Mr. Kashif had said <laughs> because I was really you know in tune with his lectures was trying to ensure that you you know use the marks allotted to the question to determine how many points you need to give for example a 10 mark question and says you should identify the you know the business risks or something within a case it kind of tells you that if one risk you identify would likely give you two marks then you might want to give up to five risks so that you are ensured that at least at the minimum you know three or four of them will be correct and you can get eight out of the ten marks this is just an example off the top of my head but i'm sure you understand what i mean so based on the question how many marks do the question have if it's a question of five marks and they ask you to identify risks i don't think you want to spend time explaining about five risks because the truth is just how many points per question are you going to get in that you know in that kind of context right yeah so i think for aa you have to be smart and like i said watching those practice to pass videos will expose you to the kind of techniques that you need to be able to tackle the questions another thing is when you're writing the acca paper for aa particularly you want to try and make sure that you are making one point per paragraph so you don't want to choke up all your points into you know one paragraph it can confuse the examiner like what are you even talking about it just looks like you're just writing a lot of jargon so you want to try and just ensure that you are writing legibly if you are taking this exam i'm talking about physically now if you're actually using a pen to write ensure that your paragraphs are you know clearly defined and each point you're making is on a paragraph then when you want to make the next point you you know move to the next paragraph but even if you are typing and taking it as a virtual exam same thing as well use the you know the exhibits and all whatnot that has been provided to you but convey your points in a very structured way so that they know how one point flows into the next and you are able to make yourself clearer to the examiner and he's able to allocate he or she are able to allocate the mark for you based on the points that you have provided one thing i'll say about aa paper is that you want to try and apply yourself to the paper now this will come easily for someone who probably has worked in a consulting firm before or worked in an audit firm before but even if you haven't just try and put yourself into the shoes of an auditor. Don't think like an accountant that just sits, you know, in, you know, on the accounting side. Think of yourself as an auditor. So bear the kind of, you know, skills that are required of an auditor. The professional skepticism, for example, will be tested because truly as an auditor, you're expected to have a question in mind, right? So yeah, so when they provide the cases, they will have some hidden facts within them. Begin to spot some of these, you know, traits that are expected of an auditor and make some comments around them. It will show that, yes, you're answering these questions as an auditor. Apply yourself to the cases, you know, understand exactly what the question is testing and all of that, right? I also think taking a paper in with SBR, if you are thinking of combining, you know, one or two papers together, taking AA and SBR would do you good just because AA as a paper is going to test some kind of accounting standards and how to audit them, right? So if you're already grounded on the standard because you are taking it with an SBR or you're taking it after SBR, then yes, that combination would do you so much good because at least you're using one stone <laughs> to kill two birds, right? Now, note for AA, you would not be required to quote the standards, same as SBR, right? No Nobody expects you to like say um, this standard refers to IAS 8 changes in accounting policies estimates and errors nobody requires that level of detail it just wants you to show your understanding of the standard show your understanding of the auditing standards as well so you're not going to be required to regurgitate the standard name and all of that but you would know when a standard is testing a particular accounting you know standard right where sorry you would know when a question tests an accounting standard or an auditing standard just apply yourself to it and begin to you know produce your points like i said one point per paragraph and i think you'll be fine now once you have done this and by this i mean you know reading some kind of lecture notes or you know watching the practice to pass videos and you know being abreast of the exam techniques that you need to solve each of the questions where you are required to like compute some kind of materiality because the examiner has provided some kind of numbers in explaining the case you know 
make mention of that materiality how material is this issue if they've given you things like the net assets of the company or i don't know some kind of profit you know margin or something and you have the numbers right yeah that will show the examiner that yes you're using all of the information that they've provided to answer those questions so yeah make a note and just say oh this is important to this company because it constitutes about five percent of their revenue or twenty percent of their revenue so yeah so make you know compute your magic materiality and make reference to it the, the examiner knows that you are used the information that is provided to you it's an exam that tests your capability so no auditor is going to sit in front of a client and talk about issues that are immaterial to that client that's a waste of the client's time right so same thing in an exam hall when they're giving you a lot of details you want to be able to prove yourself as an auditor by making reference to the materiality oh this is highly material because it constitutes 20 percent of your revenue or something so that means listen to me this is an issue because it affects your business right something like that so that's what you want to try and do when you're answering aa questions so now about one week to your exams at this point you're probably fretting and like what should i be studying okay so at this time i think you should be looking at your technical articles that relate to AAA. So this you can find on the ACCA website. It's important to read some technical articles just before your exams about two or three days to your exams. Just go on the website, read like the you know 10 most recent technical articles on AAA. How do you do this? You just read it like a newspaper really it's an article right so you're not studying it you're not taking down notes or anything except you want to but i'm just saying have an idea of what are the current issues that affect like auditors that acca wants you to know they will likely test this in the exam by bringing in maybe 110 mark question or 115 mark question and that is instrumental to you passing we want to pass right <laughs> so yeah so please don't joke with your technical articles and your examiner's comments for AAA especially because even as an auditor like I said you can fail AAA if you do not understand the technique so the examiner is going to make comments about the technique and what they expected of students so once you pick up a past question go to the examiner's comment what did they say were the pitfalls of students for this particular paper once you have that at the back of your mind you would not make the same mistakes in your own exam and that will set you up for success once you've done all of this please rest <laughs> rest and rest and just you know allow your mind to breathe right yeah and just know that it's an exam so don't go in there with so much fear just take your time breathe allot your time that you have for the exam based on the marks that you have available so if it's a 20 mark question out of 100 marks for the exam and you have three hours for that exam of course do the math and determine how much time you should be spending on that question once you're done please leave it leave it leave it and move to the next question so that you have coverage over the entire paper and once you've done all of this trust me you will pass <laughs> i'm confident that you will pass and when you do please come back here to drop me a comment and let me know if all of these tips worked out for you share this video to your friends and loved ones and we'll see you guys next time bye